Hey, so I'm here at Keith Sorrell's house. He went out to check on a turtle in the lake. Um, and I just wanted to compare these English horns. So this is a Lobin or a Laubin, however you want to say it, English horn uh, that Keith owns. That's probably one of the best English horns I've ever tried uh, with his um, Hineker vocal, 11.5 vocal on a Falstaff shape English horn reed, a little bit wider than what I'd usually use. Let's see. Feels very nice. Um, and now I'll try my B-series English horn that he has been working on. Um, with the same vocal and read. This is a B series. It's a late B series. BT 37. This is my own English horn. Um, oh, this is the not the same vocal. One second. This is my own English horn that he has worked on. And I am really excited about it. I prefer his Lobin, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> The B series does have a bit more of a brightness to it in a nice way though. English horn can dare to be bright because it's such a dark instrument. Keith, I was just comparing mm -hmm. on video, and it's so interesting. I feel like the uh, the Loban, Lauben, whatever, mm -hmm. honestly sounds, it, it feels so much better in the high register. Yeah. I wonder if it comes off in the video. You have another English one. I do. We are at Keith Sorrell's home. Don't <laughs> worry, this is not a live, okay? Yeah. I just wanted to take a video because this is so interesting to me. So this, and this is, uh, this is the... Uh, oh, that one is yours. Yeah. That's yours. And so this is the same vocal, Hineker 11.5. This uh, is a... And this is a third English horn. And which is this, a modern Lure? It's, yeah, it's about 20 years old. Oh, 20 years old. I was seven when this was made. <laughs> It's funny, it feels more, it, the, the sound feels more empty to me. Mm -hmm. It is much easier to play, but it's, the sound is emptier. It's not as whole on its own. I almost feel like I, it, it feels very comfortable. Mm -hmm. It has a very, uh, it almost feels a little more spread in the middle register and in the high notes. It almost sounds like I have to create that focus a little more in my body while on the Lauben and the B series, old Lure. And this, that's an original B series English horn, not a copy. I mean, English horn copies don't exist, but anyway. Well, it does feel, it feels very good. I mean, this is totally passably beautiful, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have the same uh, centering to the tone. Right. <laughs> 
It's a bit thinner. It just has a bit of a... Uh oh, did I just pray? <laughs> It doesn't feel like the sound really goes as far. Right. It, it kind of excels in like the mezzo piano to mezzo forte Dynam kind of area. Of it. Yeah. It's just like it has a narrower scope overall. Exactly. It feels smooth. It feels smoother and more. It has a, it has a very buttery, smooth quality, but it almost feels like shallower. Yeah. Totally. It doesn't have as much true depth like or penetration to in the sound. Like... Very interesting. So if there was one thing, th there is one thing I mm -hmm. wish the Loudman had, and mm -hmm. I wish all English, English horns had, is that third octave key, because mm. it will save your ass. I don't know. I have, I have, I'm not the high note expert. Well, <laughs> uh, think about this. Oh, well, I'm going up to high F sharp, and it does feel easier on this than on those. I mean, it feels possible. Feels possible, yeah. I mean, like think about uh, like the the ending of uh, the God, what's it called? The, Shostakovich. No, uh, no, no, not that one. That the, doesn't I'm go that high. I'm thinking of the the Berlioz Roman Car Roman Carnival. Mm. Da 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 da. What is that? A high E or high, high E? Yeah. What is the notes? I go. <laughs> yeah, that's a high E. Does feel, but it is emptier sounding. I want to try it on the Lobin. Lobin, Lobin. I don't know. I think it is Lobin though. Okay. Um, pick a vocal, any vocal. How do you get this? Can you get it? I don't want to accidentally screw it up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. It feels very nice on this, though. Yes. But it does feel less secure. Oh shit. I almost have to do something weird with my amateur where I kind of go almost like, I feel like. It doesn't quite feel it doesn't quite feel as automatic as on that but that's the thing it's like function but the personality of, mm -hmm. was, but it's a very good english horn the, oh, yeah. the modern one all of them are fantastic and they're all serviced by you obviously so they're good this one was not actually so uh, when i referenced that i i wasn't i wasn't thinking that i was ever going to be able to get that loud mm -hmm. um and last November-ish. This uh, is a 